I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test paper on relations and functions. We will have eight multiple choice questions followed by two open response questions. Question number one is which relation is not a function? My mother, my name, my friend, my place of birth. You can copy these questions, answer and then look into my suggestions. Question number two is which relation is a function? So we are given set of points. You need to find which one of these is a function. Question number three is for h of t equals to minus 5t square plus 5t determine h of t minus 1. So it's given in function notation. You match the correct answer. Question number four. A function which is always decreasing in its domain is the linear function f of x minus 1 plus x, quadratic function x square, square root function, or reciprocal function. Question number 5. A function which is non-negative is the linear function or the quadratic function 5 minus x square or the exponential function 2 to the power of x or the reciprocal function 1 over x. Question number 6. What is not true for one to many relation? It is a function. It has more elements in range than in domain. It fails horizontal line test. It fails vertical line test. Question number 7. If f of 3 equals to 9, then which of the statement is not true? A. The point 93 is on the graph of f of x. The point 36 cannot be on the graph of f of x. The point 39 is on the graph of f of x. More than one of the above statement is true. Question number 8. If x intercepts of f of x is at minus 4, then the x intercept for the function f of 2x plus 2 will be at minus 10, minus 6, minus 4, or minus 3. Question number 9. Consider a relation between x and y that consists of all the points x, y such that y is positive and the distance from x, y to origin is 13. Related to this, we have three questions. This is not a multiple choice, right? It's an open response question. Is minus 12, 5 in the relation? Explain. Is 5, 7, 6 in the relation? Explain. And is the relation a function? Explain. The last question of this test is question number 10. Determine algebraically whether each function is even, odd, or neither. Justify your answer. f of x equals to x cubed plus sine x. f of x equals to x squared plus 2x. You can always pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Thanks. Now let us answer these questions one by one. Question one. Which relation is not a function? My mother, unique, name is unique, my friend. You could have many friends, so this is not a function, right? So you can have many friends. So it is one to many, not a function. Question number two, which relation is a function? So in this, you have to check that x values do not repeat. So minus two, minus one, zero, two, not repeating. It is a function for sure. So we can always mark this. Minus two, minus one, and then minus one is repeating. So this one is not a function. For minus one, we have minus three, and we have two different values of y, all right? So one too many. Here. 1 is repeating 
and in the last one 2 is repeating so b c d are not functions only a is function question number three for h of t equals to minus 5 t square plus 5 t determine h of t minus 1 so h of t minus 1 will be replace t with t minus 1 so we get minus 5 t minus 1 whole square plus 5 times t minus 1 so when you expand you get t square minus 2t plus 1 and here we get 5t minus 5 so open this bracket minus 5t square plus 10t minus 5 plus 5t minus 5 combine the like terms so 10t plus 5t is 15t and minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10 so answer is B for us right so option B is the correct option question number three a function which is always decreasing in its domain decreasing means going downwards right so if you see from left to right the function has to be going downwards now this function is a straight line which has a y-intercept and it's kind of increasing right the second one is a parabola which decreases and then increases the third one is again a function which is always increasing right kind of like this and the fourth one here is 1 over x which you can see is decreasing right so this is the function from minus infinity to zero decreases then again it decreases right so so that is the answer only the reciprocal function 1 over x is decreasing in its entire domain right question number five a function which is non-negative let's try to sketch this one also which is non-negative means always positive right it could be zero also so when we say non-negative then it it could be zero so the very first function is a straight line we know it is negative here the next one which we have is 5 minus x square will be kind of a parabola like this which will be negative but the function 2 to the power of x is an exponential function which is always positive right so this one is the right answer 1 over x we have seen earlier that 1 over x is in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 1 so it is negative in quadrant 3 correct so option c is the right option it is good time to review the parent functions also question number six what is not true for one to many relation so when we say one to many think like this right you can make a small sketch we are saying one to many means elements in the domain are related one to many right that becomes one to many so clearly it is not a function right not a function so let's read it is a function not true this is this is definitely not true it has more elements in range so that becomes the range yes so this is true it fails horizontal line test right so and it fails vertical line test now since it is not a function right it says what is not true in one too many so it is a function that is not true it fails horizontal line test now how do you figure out horizontal line test now we could we are not sure about it right so it, it could fail but we are not very sure about it correct since you could have a situation which could be kind of like this do you see that but definitely it fails vertical line test since it is not a function so part d is also true that it will fail vertical line test so the only statement which is definitely true is that it has more elements in range than in domain. 
the equation is not true. So these two are definitely not true. For horizontal, we are not sure. So we have insufficient information. Okay, so let's move on and see other questions. Question number seven. If f of three equals to nine, then which of the statement is not true? If f of three equals to nine, it means at x equals to three, y is equals to nine. So the coordinate point three and nine is on the function is it okay on the graph of function correct now from here we'll answer all these questions the point 93 is on the graph of the function well that is not true that's not given right the point 36 cannot be on the graph that is true because the point 39 is there so 3 could be only associated with 6 not with 9 so that could be true the point 39 is on the graph that is true more than one of the above statement is true so option D is the perfect option in this case right more than one of the above statement is true B and C are true correct now here's question number eight if x intercepts of f of x is at minus four then x intercept of function f of 2x plus 2 will be where so that is a transformation we could write this as f of taking 2 common x plus 1 that means the x value you should half the x value and then this is moving left take away 1 so the value is minus 4 so let's do half of minus 4 and take away 1 so half of minus 4 is I mean we wrote it twice half of minus 4 is minus 2 and then if you take away 1 you get minus 3 so D is the right option correct that is how the X intercept is going to change question number 9 consider a relation between X and Y that consists of all points X Y such that Y is positive first thing Y is positive and distance from x y to origin is 13 that means what that means we are looking into a relation which is semicircle right which is a semicircle where all the points are 13 units away right so you could say maybe minus 13 but 13 units away from the origin right distance is always considered to be positive now, if it is a semicircle, what is going to be the equation? Equation of the semicircle is x square plus y square equals to 13 square. And we are also given that y is positive, right? So it's greater than or equal to zero. So it is a function, correct? So the last part is, is the relation a function? The answer is true, right? So if you draw it, passes vertical line test so if I draw a vertical line it only intersects at only one point now part A is is minus 12 5 in the relation so we'll use this equation which is x square plus y square substitute these points so if I have minus 12 square plus 5 square I get 144 plus 25 which is 169 which is indeed 13 squared so that is true so this point is on the relations yes and that's the reason it satisfies the the equation x squared plus y squared equals to 13 where y is greater than or equal to 0 now the second point here is 7 and 6 so if I do 7 squared plus 6 squared we get 49 plus 36 which is 545 right so which is not equal to 13 square so this point is not on the graph right so this point is not on the graph so that is how you could actually answer this question 
So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? So by default, we'll always take x along the horizontal, y along the vertical. The last question here is question number 10. Determine algebraically whether each function is even, odd, or neither. Justify your answer. We are given two functions. Let's do them one by one. So basically, we need to find what is f of minus x. Substituting x as minus x, we get minus x cubed plus sine of minus x. That gives us minus x cubed. Sine of minus x is minus sine x. Now, if I take minus common, I get x cubed plus sine x. And we know x cubed plus sine x is f of x, so we get minus of f of x. Now, since f of minus x is minus of f of x, we can write down here, since f of minus x equals to minus of f of x, the function is odd, right? So this is okay. Now let's again do the same thing. Let's find f of minus x, this time for x squared plus 2x. So we get minus x whole squared plus 2 times minus x. That gives you x squared. This gives you minus 2x. Now f of minus x is not equal to f of x. So it is nor f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x this is also not equal so it's neither neither or nor even right so that is how you can check for even and odd functions so i hope that reminds you and gives you a good review on relations and functions feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best.